Hey guys, today I'm going to explain you on uh, glutamine, how exactly the am am ammonium ion produced in the peripheral tissues brought to the liver in the form of glutamine. So how the glutamine is formed in the peripheral tissue and what happens to the glutamine in liver specifically. Later I'll explain what happens to the glutamine in kidney and intestine. Okay. So for certain uh, some of the reactions in our body where ammonium ion is released like example is purine nucleoside cycle where ammonium ion is released or it can be conversion of histidine to urocanate where ammonium ion is released or it can be conversion of glutamine to glutamate, asparagine into aspartate, ammonium ion is released. So uh, for whatever the reason and also the bacteria present in the intestine they are one of the sources of ammonium ion which will be contributing to ammonium ion that is present in the blood. So, how to take care of this ammonium ion produced in the peripheral tissue because if the ammonium ion is not neutralized if it increases in the blood it can lead to neurotoxic consequences okay because neurons are sensitive to elevated levels of ammonium ion okay so in the peripheral tissue ammonium ion is fixed to alpha ketoglutarate alpha ketoglutarate as you know this is a tca cycle intermediate so it's going to take up one ammonium ion NH4 plus ammonium ion is fixed to alpha ketoglutarate to make glutamate amino acid glutamate is synthesized this is in the peripheral tissue in the peripheral tissue alpha ketoglutarate fixed with one ammonium ion to make glutamate this is done by glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme okay now once you make glutamate this glutamate can accept one more ammonium ion one more uh, nh4 plus and becomes glutamine glutamine this is done by glutamine synthetase enzyme glutamine synthetase of course it uses ATP for that ATP to ADP ATP is converted into ADP in this reaction ADP now glutamine synthetase converts glutamate into glutamine and it has fixed ammonium ion here okay so these are some of the examples in our body where ammonium ion is fixed one is glutamine dehydrogenase which is fixing ammonium ion other is glutamine synthetase which is fixing ammonium ion so in that sense the carbon skeleton of alpha ketoglutarate it is able to accept two ammonium ion as you can see here alpha ketoglutarate takes one ammonium ion becomes glutamate glutamate takes one more ammonium ion and becomes glutamine so it means it has got an ability to fix two ammonium ion carbon skeleton of alpha ketoglutarate has got an ability to fix two ammonium ion this is what happens in the peripheral tissues okay and this is how we are taking care of ammonium ion that is produced in the peripheral tissue. So overall what we do, we consume alpha ketoglutarate and you make glutamine. Okay. Now what happens to the glutamine? So glutamine is secreted from the peripheral tissue. Now I will close this off. Glutamine is releasing from the peripheral tissue, gets into the blood, glutamine in the blood. Now this glutamine will be taken up by three tissues from the blood one is predominantly by the liver glutamine is taken up by the liver goes to the liver okay so in the liver what happens glutamine gets in here converted to glutamate glutamine is converted to glutamate by glutaminase enzyme glutaminase enzyme and it releases ammonium ion NH4 plus this is the first reaction that is going on in the liver blood glutamine taken up by the liver we are talking about liver now glutamine is taken up by the liver and the mitochondrial enzyme glutaminase enzyme is going to break down glutamine into glutamate releases ammonium ion and this ammonium ion will go into urea cycle urea formation that's the fate of ammonium ion now the glutamate further down it can be converted into alpha ketoglutarate by glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme which is a mitochondrial enzyme 
and releases one more ammonium ion NH4 plus and that ammonium ion can get into again get into urea cycle in the liver okay this is how liver is going to take care of glutamine that is coming from the blood glutamine converted to glutamate glutamate is converted to alpha ketoglutarate ammonium ion is getting into urea formation that's what happened to your peripheral tissue ammonium ion ammonium ion that was produced in the peripheral tissue this ammonium ion if it is not fixed it can go out into the blood in the form of ammonia it goes out in the form of ammonia nh3 and this nh3 can rise and that is can that can be a neurotoxic molecule we don't want that to happen that is why ammonium ion is fixed to alpha ketoglutarate to make glutamate glutamate is fixing one more ammonium ion here and becoming glutamine now it has got two ammonium ions okay so the glutamine is getting into the blood and this blood glutamine is taken up by the liver and it's going to break down glutamine into glutamate by glutaminase enzyme and that releases ammonium ion now the glutamate further is broken down into alpha ketoglutarate by glutamate dehydrogenase and releases one more ammonium ion here both the ammonium ions can get they will get into urea formation that means liver is going to neutralize ammonium ion as urea okay and this urea it is released means it is secreted by the liver this is all in the liver so urea is secreted into the blood and so it gets into the blood urea and your kidney is going to take that it gets into the kidney and kidney is going to filter urea into urine it gets into the urine this is how urea gets out of our body okay now let's see the what is the other fate of glutamine that is present in the blood so what we have seen so far is blood glutamine taken up by the liver and breaking glutamine into alpha ketoglutarate releasing two ammonium ion now the kidneys can also take up glutamine glutamine can get into the kidney glutamine and same enzyme glutaminase enzyme releases ammonium ion and forms glutamate and this ammonium ion is secreted into the urine it gets into the urine released into the urine that's the source of ammonia that you find in the urine any ammonia that you find in the urine it is all coming from glutamine by glutaminase reaction okay now the glutamate further down by glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme release one more ammonium ion one more ammonium ion and becomes alpha ketoglutarate and that ammonium ion released into urine so the source of ammonium ion that you see in the urine it is coming from glutamine to glutamate glutamate to alpha keto glutarate that's the fate of blood glutamine now blood glutamine some of the blood glutamine can be taken up by the intestine intestine will take glutamine and breaks it into glutamate by glutaminase enzyme and glutamate further converted to alpha ketoglutarate by glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme releasing ammonium ions nh4 plus and they will get into portal circulation ammonium ion gets into portal circulation carried to the liver whereas the alpha ketoglutarate will get into tca cycle to make energy that's the purpose of glutamine taken by the intestine this is in the intestine so intestine uses glutamine for energy purpose so there are three tissues which will take glutamine in our body glutamine coming from the peripheral tissue which is there in the blood so use predominantly taken up by the liver and break glutamine into glutamate glutamate into alpha ketoglutarate and alpha ketoglutarate can undergo transamination reaction and the ammonium ion is converted to urea urea is secreted into the blood kidney filters that into the urine Now the glutamine, some of the glutamine taken up by the kidney, glutaminase reaction releases ammonium ion, glutamate dehydrogenase reaction releases alpha ketoglutarate, and ammonium ion gets into the urine, and that's the source of ammonium ion in the urine. That is glutamine. Glutamine taken up by the intestine uses that glutamine for energy purpose, especially alpha ketoglutarate going into TCA cycle.
okay sometimes what happens is whenever urea cycle gets saturated in the liver see here this is the urea cycle which is using ammonium ion urea cycle has got enzymes like five enzymes what if urea cycle is saturated whenever urea cycle is saturated this ammonium ion in the liver increases during this time what happens reversal of reactions will go on whenever there is increase in ammonium ion so alpha ketoglutarate is fixing this ammonium ion and make glutamate reversal of reaction when the urea cycle is saturated these reactions will be reversed alpha ketoglutarate will make glutamate by fixing ammonium ion by glutamate dehydrogenase same enzyme now the glutamate will be converted to glutamine by fixing one more ammonium ion and that will be done by glutamine synthetase enzyme glutamine synthetase enzyme fixes ammonium ion so glutamine is released and this glutamine will come out into the blood and from there it is taken by the kidney in the kidney glutamine breaks down glutaminase breaks down glutamine into glutamate glutamate into alpha ketoglutarate and ammonium ion will be released into the urine it means whenever urea cycle is saturated here when more ammonium ion is accumulating in the liver liver will make sure that that ammonium ion has to be excreted in a safer form for that what it does is going to reverse these reactions alpha ketoglutarate converted to glutamate by fixing one ammonium ion glutamate is converted to glutamine by fixing one more ammonium ion glutamine is released back into the blood stream taken up by the kidney and glutamine is broken down into glutamate by glutaminase enzyme releasing ammonium ion that gets into the urine glutamate further broken down into alpha ketoglutarate releasing ammonium ion that gets into the urine so it means you have excreted excess ammonium ion in the liver in the form of urine now like it directly gets into the urine so this is how the ammonium ion that is produced in the peripheral tissues will be brought to the liver in the form of glutamine and released as urea nitrogen is released as urea and some of the glutamine is releasing ammonium ion in the kidney into the urine some of the glutamine is used by intestine for energy purpose that's the fate of glutamine in our body during normal protein turnover starvation fasting condition stressful situation thanks for watching